Former congressional candidate Kimberly Klasik is joining us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. There is a lot of frustration about what's happening in the city. We are just not supposed to see our children die this way. What do we do? No, absolutely not. I mean, first, I want to give my condolences to all the families, the victims recovering, and everyone in the community that walks up every day past that strip mall. I do think it's a slap in the face, though, to all of those retail shops that are there. Uh, I heard Mayor Brandon Scott, Councilman Christopher Burnett, and school CEO Sonia Santelis blame the stores in the shopping center. This is not the store's fault. Popeyes is not supposed to make sure a mass shooting does not happen in their parking lot. That is leadership. I wanted to point out really quick though that when former mayor Catherine Pugh and uh, I think it was Jack Young at the time when he was city council president they brought a bill before city council and it was to put mandatory minimums at least one year on illegal possession of a firearm and it was mayor Brandon Scott who was a city councilman at the time along with city councilman Christopher Burnett they voted against that bill so those people that say that this is not on the hands of the mayor or city council that is absolutely wrong you had that bill struck down by people that are sitting in city hall today the mayor says that they will do everything they can to hold the people who are responsible uh, accountable for this. Uh, in addition to that, to your point, they're saying this is beyond city leadership. This is a community problem, and the community needs to step up. And being part of a, a good community partner, as they were asking of the businesses, is to be on board with what would be the best outcomes for, for students. Is this not bigger than city leadership? Yeah, I do agree the community can step up at the same time. I mean, obviously, I see all the time we have all these victims. Many people in the city know those victims. If you ever look on your social media page here at Fox 45, you can see a lot of people with their hearts pouring out, talking about how great uh, a lot of these people are that are losing their lives. So, yes, if there is an issue in the community, I think there's still a little bit of that no snitching rule, and I do hope people will come forward. Uh, I am glad that we have a new state's attorney, Ivan Bates. Uh, as you mentioned, he has a town hall meeting tonight where he's going to talk about maybe a new safety plan for the city. But Mayor Scott and other city council members, it is time for them to step up and really do their job. They could do more if they wanted to, but so, they don't want to. They want to continue to be soft on crime, and we're feeling it in the streets. Uh, you, you mentioned one specific. What, what specifically for you would make a difference right now? Ivan Bates is coming into office, but even he says it's going to take some time to turn this around. Yeah, well, I was uh, at his swearing-in ceremony, and I did hear his speech, and he talked about uh, rescinding that r ridiculous uh, policy that Merrill Mosby had in place where they're not, uh, you know, prosecuting low-level criminals. He's saying that he is going to prosecute everyone. They also need to get uh, those that are just standing around loitering in the streets, like the squeegee washers. We now know that they have guns on them. Uh, those that are driving around on dirt bikes, not everybody on a dirt bike is a criminal. But if we want to enforce the laws, we have to enforce all the laws, right? We have to do this equally. Equally, and it's going to be, you know, a time for tough love. And I'm glad that Ivan Bates has made it very clear that he's going to enforce laws. All right, Kim Klasik, thank you. Thank you.